Thank you, Professor Anurag Singh, sir. Kan, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Pansar sir also, sorry, my apologies. Thank you so much, sir. I would now request our Honorable Neeraj Agrawal, sir, President, Mathura Chapter and CEO, GLA University Mathura, to welcome Mr. S. V. Nathan, sir, President, National President, NHRDN, with a bouquet. Neeraj Agrawal. I would request Professor Anurag Singh, sir, Vice President, NHRD and Mathura Chapter, and Director, IBM, GLA University, to welcome Mr. Prem Singh, sir, with a bouquet. I would request Professor Somesh Thamija, Secretary, NHRD and Mathura Chapter, and Head, IBM UG, GLA University, to welcome Mr. Asis Methi, Sir, Executive Director, IOCL Mathura, with a bouquet. I would request uh, Kavit, Professor Kavita Verma, ma'am, to please welcome uh, Ashish Methi, Sir, with a bouquet. I would request uh, Professor Anoop Gupta, Pro Vice Chancellor, GLA University, to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Pansal, Director, AICT, with a bouquet. I would request Professor Anand Singh Jalal, sir, Controller of Examination and Head of uh, CS Department, GLA University, to please welcome Dhananjay, sir, with a bouquet. As we all know, we have gathered here to be a part of a historic moment in the annals of Mathura. So with humble submission, I would request the Vice President, NHRDN Mathura Chapter and Director, Institute of Business Management, GLA University, Professor Anurag Singh, to deliver the NHRDN Code of Conduct Pledge. <clears throat> Thank you and very good morning to everybody. I request all the members present in the auditorium to please switch off their mobile phones and stand up for the recitation of the Code of Conduct. I request you to repeat after me. Here we begin. I will always strive to meet the highest evolving standards of competence in the profession and add value to the organizational success. You could be a little louder as well. I will deal with all the stakeholders with utmost integrity and create an environment of trust leading to ethical success of my organization. I will ensure that I am always reliable and consistent in all my actions by accepting responsibility 
for my decisions and actions, thereby creating credibility for my profession and myself. I will be objective in all my actions and decisions and foster fairness with firmness. I will conduct myself in a way that facilitates growth and development for all those I am responsible for. I will strive to be a role model for all others and champion exemplary practices of HR profession. I will respect the right of privacy and will not use my position for personal gains and ensure that there, will, there is no conflict of interest in what I do with any of my stakeholders. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's my sheer pleasure to introduce the President, NHRD and Mathura Chapter, and the Chief Executive Officer, GLA University, Mathura, Sri Neera Jagrawal, sir, a charismatic personality who has made a deep impact in the form of an educationist, motivational speaker, management guru, career guiding specialist, and the list is endless. A visionary through and through, Neera, sir, anticipates the changes which would take place in future and proactively acts on preparing for them. With humble submission, I would call upon the President NHRDN Mathura Chapter and the Chief Executive Officer Shunira Jagrawal sir to deliver his welcome address. Thank you so very much. I will say that one time I will go and go and go important that यह बैठना और जागने में दोनों में फर्क है मैं अपने नेचुरल अंदाज में सब लोगों को बताने की कोशिश करूंगा और मैं आज बहुत खुश हूं अपने चिर परचन अंदाज में मैं अपने एक कपलेट आप लोगों तक पहुंचाना चाहता हूं कि साथ भी उसके रहना मुश्किल साथ भी उसके रहना मुश्किल ये पीछे जो लोग खड़े हुए अगर वो बैठ जाएं तो थोड़ा सा डिस्टरबेंस कम होगा प्लीज दिस इज माय रिक्वेस्ट अभी मेरे बाद मैं यहां पर माहौल बना रहा हूं कि आदरणीय नाथन सर प्रेम सिंह सर और बाकी जितने भी डिग्नेटरीज हैं आप उनको अच्छे से सुन पाएं मेरे को इसलिए सिर्फ चार से पांच मिनट दिए गए हैं क्योंकि बहुत सारा टाइम आज उनको हम लोग देने वाले हैं दे आर चीफ गेस्ट एंड गेस्ट ऑफ टुडेज इवेंट तो मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है जल्दी से बैठ जाइए आप लोग मैं कुछ ये कह रहा था कि साथ भी उसके रहना मुश्किल हिज्र मतलब होता है दूरी हिज्र भी उसका सहना मुश्किल सब कुछ उनसे ही कहना है जिनसे कुछ भी कहना मुश्किल पॉइंट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन यहां पर यह है दोस्तों किसी ने मुझसे पूछा आज कि आपकी खुशी का कारण क्या है तो मैंने कहा कि मैं अपनी खुशी का कारण तो तुम्हें बताऊंगा लेकिन मुझे तुम्हारे दुख का कारण साफ तौर पर पता चल गया क्योंकि जो शख्स खुश होने के लिए कारण ढूंढता है उसको किसी भी कारण से खुशी नहीं मिलती आज एक नया दिन एक बड़ा दिन एक शानदार दिन बहुत सारे लोग बहुत सारी शख्सियत आज यहां पर वो है मैं अगर एक एक व्यक्ति के लिए अगर बात करूं और काश में लेखक होता तो डॉक्टर वीपी सिंह सर से लेकर और आदरणीय नाथन सर तक प्रेम सिंह सर तक युवराज सर तक मैं शायद एक एक किताब उनके बारे में लिख पाता बहुत सारे लोग मैं बच्चों को यह बात बताना चाहता हूं बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है बहुत सारे लोगों से मैं पिछले चार पांच छह सालों से मिलने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं इट्स माई बैड कि मैं उन लोगों से नहीं मिल पाया उन लोगों से मुलाकात नहीं कर पाया लेकिन यह आप लोगों के लिए गर्वित होने का मौका है खुश होने का मौका है ये प्राउड मोमेंट है कि वो लोग आज हमारे बीच में बैठे हुए हैं और आप लोगों के सामने हैं मैं एक बार चाहता हूं कि पूरा टीम जीएलए इन लोगों के लिए तालियों का महोत्सव करके इन लोगों को बताए कि एंटायर टीम जीएलए इज वेरी हैप्पी दोस्तों विश्वास मानिएगा किसी चीज की शुरुआत इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लेकिन उसका सक्सेस उसका एग्जीक्यूशन उसका प्रोसेस मुझे अनुराग सिंह साहब ने बताया कि जो वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द चैप्टर है कि शायद 501 बच्चों से हमने एक हम्बल बिगनिंग की है और 10 लाइफ मेंबर हम लोगों ने शुरुआत में ऐड किए हैं तो मेरी रिक्वेस्ट यह है कि मैं इन सब लोगों को बताना चाहता हूं 
एन एच प्रेसिडेंट दिल्ली चैप्टर प्रेसिडेंट और बहुत सारे और बड़ी शख्सियत हमारे साथ आई हैं कि ये सिर्फ एक हम्बल बिगनिंग है जी चैप्टर मथुरा चैप्टर की आप विश्वास मानिए कि अगले एक साल में मैं इस मंच से आप लोगों को बताने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि सबसे पावरफुल सबसे वाइब्रेंट चैप्टर होगा यह मैं टीम जीएलए के विश्वास पर आप लोगों को विश्वास दिला रहा हूं दोस्तों जब प्रेम सिंह सर से बात हुई मैं फर्स्ट टाइम आज से कुछ महीने पहले रिस्पेक्टेड प्रेम सिंह सर सी एच आर ओ जी जेके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से मुलाकात की मैंने वो हमारी कॉन्क्लेव में आए हुए थे यह उनका सपना था यह उनका बेबी था उनका इनिशियटिव था उनका इंसाइट था उनका आइडिया था कि नीरज लेट्स वर्क समथिंग फॉर मोर गुड मैं कहानी जो अक्सर सुनाता हूं दोस्तों को साथियों को जीएल आज तेईस साल से आप लोगों के साथ है जीएल आज तेईस साल से लोगों को जोड़ रहा है जो मैंने सीखा समझा मुझे मेरे दोस्त अमित कुमार ने एक चार पेजेस का एक स्पीच दिया फिर मुझे अनुराग सिंह साहब से भी एक स्पीच मिला कि मुझको यह पढ़ना है लेकिन मेरा मन हो रहा था कि मैं उसकी जिस्ट लोगों तक पहुंचाऊं आप लोगों तक पहुंचाऊं और मैं एक कहानी बहुत बार सुनाता हूं उस मंच से फिर से शेयर करना चाहता हूं शायद वही जो एक परस्पेक्टिव रहा आज से तैतीस पैंतीस सैंतीस साल पहले जब किसी शख्स ने इस इनिशिएटिव को लेने के लिए सोचा होगा मैं एक लाइन बोलता हूं हमेशा कि शुरुआत बहुत मुश्किल होती है मैं उस जमाने से एच को जानता हूं जब आई और पर्सनल की बात हुआ करती थी एक बिल्कुल दूसरा रूप हुआ करता था और किन्हीं लोगों ने मिलकर वो क्या कहते हैं कि तुमको बहुत आसान बात लगती है तुमको बहुत आसान बात लगती है दिन बनाने में रात लगती है मैं अक्सर कहता हूं कि जिस शख्सियत ने यह इंसाइट ली होगी कि इस आईआर को पर्सनल को एक नए रूप में लाना है और विश्वास मानिएगा कि आज एचआर कंट्री को गवर्न कर रहा है मैं तो यहां तक कहूंगा कि एचआर एक इतना इंपॉर्टेंट टूल है कि वो अब इंडस्ट्री से हटकर इंडस्ट्री के अलावा कॉलेजेस में पहुंचने की कोशिश कर रहा है और मैं फिर से प्रेम सिंह सर को बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं सर कि आपके माध्यम से मथुरा चैप्टर ने जो एक इनिशिएटिव लिया है वो निश्चित रूप से मथुरा आगरा अलीगढ़ फिरोजाबाद हाथरस जैसे छोटे और बड़े जिलों को जोड़ने का काम करेगा मैं जो स्टोरी सुनाने की कोशिश कर रहा था मैं और एन जब जुड़ रहे हैं जब जी जुड़ रहा है जब मथुरा चैप्टर जुड़ रहा है तो एक मंच और एक साइट के साथ जुड़ रहा है एक सोच के साथ जुड़ रहा है एक विजन के साथ जुड़ रहा है एक मिशन के साथ जुड़ रहा है वो ये है कि एक बच्चा जो था वो बार बार अपने पिता को परेशान कर रहा था पिता किसी जरूरी काम में बिजी थे उन्होंने क्या किया कि उनके पास एक अखबार पड़ा हुआ था बहुत सारे बच्चों ने बहुत सारे लोगों ने ये कहानी सुन रखी होगी प्लीज बेयर विद मी अगर किसी ने ये पहले से सुन रखी है लेकिन बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है ये बताना कि इस एन का मकसद क्या है अप स्किलिंग है कॉन्फ्रेंसेज है कॉन्क्लेव है मीटिंग्स हैं ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग सेशन है लेकिन अल्टीमेटली इसका मकसद क्या है क्योंकि ये अकेला नीरज अग्रवाल या अकेले डॉक्टर अनुराग सिंह या अकेले उनकी टीम नहीं कर पाएगी जब हम लोग बात करते हैं तो हम बात करते हैं एक साथ पुरजोर तरीके से इस मकसद को पूरा करना द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस कि जब वो बच्चा बार बार जो छः आठ साल का बच्चा था वो बार 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 अपने पिता के पास पहुँचता पिता परेशान हो रहे थे उन्होंने क्या किया कि एक पास में अखबार रखा हुआ था उन्होंने उस अखबार को चार पाँच टुकड़ों में फाड़ कर बगल में रख दिया साइड में रख दिया उस पर कुछ विश्व का नक्शा बना हुआ था वर्ल्ड मैप बना हुआ था तो उन्होंने सोचा कि ये बच्चा इतना छोटा है कि ये इसको नहीं जोड़ पाएगा इसको टाइम लगेगा बाय दैट टाइम मैं अपने कामों को कंप्लीट कर लूंगा और निश्चित रूप से ये भी उसमें बिजी होगा और मुझे डिस्टर्ब नहीं करेगा लेकिन कमाल देखिए साहब कि पिछले अगले पांच मिनट के अंदर वो बच्चा उस नक्शे को जोड़कर ले आया हिज डेड वॉज मिसमराइज उन्होंने कहा कि यह कमाल कैसे किया तुमने तो उसने अपने बेटे से कहा कि तुम्हें क्या मालूम कि इजिप्ट कहाँ है यूरोप कहाँ है इंडिया कहाँ है बाकी सब कंट्रीज कहाँ हैं हाउ यू डिड दैट तो उसने कहा कि पापा मुझे ये तो नहीं मालूम कि देश के कौन से हिस्से कहाँ कहाँ पर हैं लेकिन मैंने उसके पीछे पेज मुझे पहली बार कहा गया है कि दो मिनट और रहेंगे एनी तो मैं मैं टाइम में ही खत्म करूंगा सुष्मिता जी तो पॉइंट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन यहाँ पर यह है कि जब उन, उससे पूछा गया कि आपने ये कैसे किया तो उसने कहा कि मुझे ये बिल्कुल नहीं मालूम है कि ये मैंने कैसे किया मुझे नहीं मालूम कि कौन सी कंट्री कहां पर है लेकिन मैंने जब ये देखा कि उस फटे हुए कागज फटे हुए न्यूज़पेपर के पीछे लोग बने हुए थे जुड़िएगा आप भी मैं किस बात को कहने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं और ये अकेली चीज है जिसने मुझे और टीम जी को मोटिवेट किया कि हम लोग आपके संरक्षण में आपकी गाइडेंस में आपके मोटिवेशन में हम लोग मथुरा चैप्टर को इनोग्रेट करें और मथुरा चैप्टर को आने वाले एक से दो साल में सक्सेसफुल चैप्टर के श्रेणी में लाकर खड़ा करें तो उस बेटे ने कहा कि मुझे ये नहीं मालूम कि कौन सी कंट्री कहाँ पर थी लेकिन मुझे ये मालूम था कि उसके पीछे लोग बने हुए हैं मैंने लोगों को लोगों से जोड़ दिया पूरा विश्व आपस में अपने आप जुड़ गया 
दोस्तों बड़ी प्लेन सिंपल क्रिस्प क्लियर सी बात यह है कि एन एच का मकसद जो है आज भी मैं आदरणीय नाथन सर से बात कर रहा था प्रेम सिंह सर से बात कर रहा था विरोवराज सर से बात कर रहा था वीपी सिंह सर मैं आपके बारे में किसी और दिन बात करूंगा क्योंकि मुझे आज रोक दिया गया है कि दो मिनट आपके पास हैं आज इनोग्रेशन सेशन है मैं विश्वास दिलाता हूं आप लोगों को कि जिस तरह से डॉक्टर वीपी सिंह सर ने मुझे मेंटोर किया आज से 25 साल पहले 23 साल पहले 20 साल पहले निश्चित रूप से जितनी भी डिग्नेटरीज आज हम लोगों के साथ बैठे हुए हैं डेज पर ऑन द ऑफ द डेज मैं बहुत श्योर हूँ कि आपके संरक्षण में आपके मोटिवेशन में गाइडेंस में मथुरा चैप्टर बहुत ग्रो करने जा रहा है अनुराग सिंह सर को भी मैं टीम जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई देना चाहता हूं, शुभकामनाएं देना चाहता हूं। एक बार फिर से मैं प्रेम सिंह सर का जो प्रेसिडेंट हैं एन एच दिल्ली चैप्टर और सी एच आर हैं जेके टायर आदरणीय एस वी नाथन सर मैं पहली बार मिल रहा हूं एस वी नाथन सर से मैंने अभी ऑफ द डेज सर से बात किया और मैंने कहा सर पहली बार मुझे पता चला कि आप एच वर्ल्ड में एक अपना आयाम रखते हैं जगह रखते हैं जब मैंने सर का मेलर लोगों से शेयर किया आई केम टू नो कि सब लोगों ने बहुत प्रेस किया कि नाथन सर अगर आपके कैंपस में हैं तो सर्टेनली इट विल गोइंग टू यू नो हेल्प यू लाइक एनीथिंग नाथन सर मोस्ट वेलकम बन सकें मैं लेफ्टिनेंट कर्नल कैलाश बंसल जी का स्वागत करता हूँ डॉक्टर वी सिंह सर सेशन चेयर का स्वागत करता हूँ प्रद्युम सर का भी स्वागत करता हूँ युवराज सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्पेयरिंग टाइम फॉर जी यूनिवर्सिटी अनिल गौर सर योगेश मिश्रा सर नलिन श्रीवास्तव सर धनंजय सर मैम तोशी जी मेघना सिंह जी अग्निवेश सर तुषार गर्ग सर प्रमोद खंडेलवाल सर आशीष मेती सर एंड बीरेंद्र कुमार झा सर कुछ नाम मुझसे रह गए मैं उसके लिए माफी चाहता हूं वंस अगेन गुड लक टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज टेक केयर एंजॉय योर फ्लेस्ट Thank you so much, sir, for your enthusiastic welcome speech. Uh, it's indeed my privilege to introduce Mr. Prem Singh, sir, Regional President, NHRDN. Sir is currently the President, Group HR, JK Organization. Before JK Organization, sir was the President and Global HR Head at Wokhart. Sir has worked in the pharma industry for more than a decade in his career, spanning more than 25 years. He has worked with other global industries as well. Sir is an alumnus of the coveted IIT Delhi, where he did his masters in management. Talking about JK Group, it's a multinational group headquartered in India with a heritage of more than 125 years. The group has a multi-business, multi-product, and multi-location operations with the, its footprints in various countries across the globe. With these words, I would request Prem Singh, sir. for his opening remarks good morning neeraj ji mujhe aap se shikayat hai neeraj ji mathura mein aake mujhe mathura ka warmth feel nahi ho ye to badi naain safi hai good morning everyone good morning sir that's better so uh, you know Thank you very much for having me here. I am very happy for three reasons. Ah. <laughs> so I am very happy for three reasons. Number one, which Neeraj ji just shared, that the very first day of the opening of the chapter, you have 501 members already registered. please give yourself a big round of applause number 2 i am very happy that a dream which was conceptualized 100 days ago exactly 100 days ago and we had a telephonic conversation between neeraj ji and myself just a thought today that thought is getting converted into a reality a big round of applause to all of you i still remember when we shared this great news in one of the uh, whatsapp group and i think it was about a couple of days later when we added nathan into that group because i wanted to make sure before we add nathan into the group there should be a surety and substantive progress because eventually 
मेरे बॉस को ये नहीं लगना चाहिए यार प्रेम सिंह ने ऐसी हवा बनाई हुई है सो ही ऑल्सो शुड सी एंड ही एग्जैक्टली सेट द सेम थिंग इट्स इट्स ए प्लेजर टू सी द ड्रीम कमिंग इन टू द रियालिटी सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू पॉइंट नंबर थ्री एंड दैट्स अ बिगर रीजन वाई आई एम सो हैप्पी यू नो इन मैनेजमेंट फील्ड वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट planning strategizing executing mentoring coaching just talk about the mythology think about the characters in the mythology we talk about rama we talk about krishna we talk about many other characters and we always say that perhaps lord krishna has been one of the master strategists he has been one of the futuristic leaders who always used to think plan conceptualize strategize so who can be a better guru than lord krishna himself who can be a better coach than lord krishna himself who can be a better mentor than lord krishna himself and who can be a better sarathi than lord krishna himself and if that is the case it will be a great injustice if we simply keep talking about lord krishna but do not really celebrate that by at least having a chapter in that city at the birthplace of lord krishna so the fact that today you are all having that reality coming true that dream coming true i think that's a great that's a great that's a satis that's a matter of great satisfaction and great joy for all of us so for that reason i want to compliment the team of neeraj ji and everyone who has worked very very hard for this project so congratulations all of you in the end i would only like to say that you are not alone in this journey neeraj ji you have taken this step forward we are all with you we'll make sure that we'll provide all the possible support that you require and in your recognition I like to talk about one couplet Chale the akele hi zanib e manzil Chale the akele hi zanib e manzil magar log aate gaye karwa banta gaya Congratulations all the best Thank you sir for your illuminating and encouraging words We at Mathura chapter feel honored to have among us the national president of nhrdn mr sv nathan sir nathan sir is the partner and chief talent officer at deloitte india sir is a true hr professional who demonstrate all the key attributes of a hr leader sir holds a pgp mir degree from exilarai jamshedpur sir has a illustrious career of around 4 decades across top global mncs sir leads by example and has a genuine interest in people around him deeply cares for the relationships and most importantly is a tolerant leader who suspends self interest to ensure that he contributes to the larger goals with humble submission i would now request mr sv nathan sir for his presidential address मथुरा राधे राधे वॉट कैन आई से आई एम टोटली ऑर्ड बाई योर प्रेजेंस यू मस्ट फर्गिव मी माई बेंगोली इज बेटर देन माई हिंदी बी द रेज मे स्टैंडिंग वेर आई एम आई सी ऑन द डायस वेरी लस्ट्रियस पीपल आई सी ऑन द डायस एनर्जी i see on the dais purpose i see in front of me the future i see in front of me the future i'm very very grateful to be here with all of you today grateful for your time because if it were not for people like mr neeraj dr anurag singh Kailash Bansal ji Mr Prem Singh Ashish Maiti ji Dhananjay ji Professor Somesh 
VP Singh Ji, Yuvraj, Agni, Toshi, Pradiman Ji, Nalan, Avinash, and very many more. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village. It takes a lot of support from everybody to raise a child. So, I can go on about what it takes to build a chapter. I'm not here for that. But I'm going to ask you this question. How many, how many of you love a story? You want to listen to a story? Shameless people. Huh? I thought you want to listen to words of advice. No, okay. So I'll share a story with you because that's the only thing that I know. So many, many years ago, there was this young boy who went up to his grandfather and said, Grandpa, why are there no birds around this place? And the grandfather said, there are no birds because there are no trees. And why are there no trees? The grandfather looked at the son and says, well, because you see this river, it takes away a lot of our trees. And we, as human beings, we start cutting away a lot of these trees. And he said, can't you do anything about it? And the grandfather says, well, I have tried, but it doesn't work. Next day morning, the child was missing. The child was missing. And you could see, after much searching, a young boy carrying a small lota of water and carrying a small sapling and he's trying to dig into the earth and planting that sapling. And then very carefully making sure that the earth is on that, pouring a bit of water and then going another few paces and putting another sapling out there. This the boy did the whole day. The grandfather thought that perhaps it is just one day that the boy would do that. No. The next day, again the boy was there and he was having his bucket of water today, a lot of saplings, and he went from place to place right along the banks and what he did was, all he did was plant trees. And he planted more trees and he planted more trees and he planted more trees all of 25 long years. All of 25 long years he planted trees. At the end of 25 years, nobody could recognize that place because it had become a lush forest. It's become a lush forest. Today, many of us celebrate Padma Shri Payang Yadav, the forest man. Many of us celebrate Payang Yadav, the forest man. The story is not about Payang Yadav by himself, but there are two things that I learned from that. One, we need one, a purpose. The second one is you need energy and passion. It's just not enough to have a purpose. In your own lives, all of you are leaders tomorrow, today. We need energy. But more than that, we need a purpose. So what is your purpose? We have started a chapter here. And it is very, very energizing, very inspiring to know that just the very first day, if you have a 501, by the way, 501 is a very auspicious number. So, so congratulations to that. I'm grateful it's not 502 or 503. <laughs> it's 501. It's a, it's, it's terrific. What is needed is what Payang Adav did. Make sure that he just kept watering all those trees. Each one of you is a Payang Yadav in the making. Each one of you. Each one of us. Because all that we do in life is beyond planting a tree, we have to nourish that tree. I'm grateful 
that I'm here with you today at JLA because I see in our midst a lot of professors as well because all of them are Padmashris, all of them are Payang Yadavs, because all of them have planted in us those seeds which will help us grow as professionals and future leaders. So take a moment to applaud all the teachers, your faculties, and gurus who are here. You can do, I was told that GLA's people clap really well. Okay? So we'll do it one more time. Okay? Thank you very much. You have a purpose. You are, I just saw a little bit of your energy as well. I'm going to rest my case today. All I'm saying is, find your purpose. Find your passion. Find your energy. And you will find your forest. And many years from now, it's not the recognition that you will hanker after, but in the quiet knowledge that you have proved your grandfather that you were worthy of all that he held in you, beyond a dream, a faith that my grandchild will do well. And on that note, I wish the Mathura chapter all the very best. And thank you again, Radhe Radhe. Thank you so much, sir. It was indeed a mesmerizing experience to listen to your words of wisdom. NHRDN is a national FX body of professionals who are committed to promote people development movement in country as well as globally. It's an amalgamation of academia industry collaboration. So to foster this bond, we have amongst us the representative from the industry, executive director, Indian Oil Corporation and Head Mathura Refinery, Mr. Asis Methi, sir. Sir holds a B.Tech degree from Calcutta University and M.Tech from IIT Kharagpur and has a Business Leadership Certification from the University of Melbourne. Sir has an illustrious career spanning for almost three decades of association with Indian Oil Corporation in operations and technical services of refinery at Baroni, Haldia, and Panipat. Currently, Sir is the head of Mathura Refinery since February 2021. With these words, I would humbly request Sir for his words of blessings for the Mathura chapter of NHRDM. Namaskar, distinguished person in the dais and in the front rows, Dr. V.P. Singh, Mr. Nathan, professors, teachers, gurus, my dear young students, ladies and gentlemen. Now, after Mr. Nathan, the sapling, the tree has grown up. And right now we are at Mathura. So, I will start the first sloka of Gita, that is Dharma Khetre Kuru Khetre. Every action we do, it should be with Dharma. And opposite of dharma is adharma. Now the question is whatever we do, whether it's the industry, I mean the education, finally it comes the sustainability. So sustainability is the dharma, what I have learned. It has to be long term perspective. That is the action we should do. Do. Definitely, I am just standing before 
I don't know, they are millennials or Jumars, I mean Generation Z. So now, as it is written that I am from the industry, so I have to correlate these things. But first of all, I must congratulate this NHRD, I mean, uh, network, chapter Mathura, for initiating such thing. There's already 501 members registered. It's definitely a new, I mean, the era, it will be in the Mathura. So here students are from an engineering students, MBA students, they are the future, as mentioned by my earlier speaker. So the, the, the thing I want to just highlight, that from our childhood, we have been learning or the, the total focus of the teaching, which is based on IQ. But practically, in the practical life, when you actually in the job, the importance of IQ is very limited. It is seen only 10 to 15 percent. Most of the thing, it is the emotional quotient. There are some other quotients are also there. I know five quotients. The first is PQ, physical quotient. One has to be physically fit, mentally fit. Then comes IQ. We all know. Then comes EQ, emotional quotient. There is a need of SQ. Sometimes it shows this SQ is equal to IQ plus EQ. Then which is relevant nowadays for the young generation is all of us. It is AQ, adversity quotient. I remember the news which is pertaining to this particular university. One student committed suicide. Actually, I was pained that particular day. What happened? So basically, that is the thing. EQ has a big role in it. Life is not a straight line. Straight line is a dead. Even the, our ECG curves, if something's coming straight line, means person is dead. There will be ups and downs. So life is that. Gir ke ut ke khada hona. That is a grit. That is a requirement. Though failure is also required for a successful person, for the society. So how to cope up with that? That is much more important for the young generations. When, we, when I see the IITians, doctors committing suicide, this should not be there. Life is really beautiful. So these are the things I want to tell. Iku has a very big role. Mr. Nathan is there. He's from Deloitte. So naturally in front of him I am speaking all these things. I am not HR expert by I, I believe each and every person has to be a HR person to be a successful running a business. That is the requirement. We all know Maslow's theory, the all management graduates or something, I'm management students. The five hierarchies are the human needs. It starts with the roti kapra and makan, the primary needs, then comes the security. Then comes the emotional need and there's a intellectual need. Ultimately, finally, we think of the self-actualization. We all know all these things. We are talking about the happiness here. People are telling I'm very happy. Now the ultimate thing, we all are running. Where from we will be getting the happiness? That's a really a problem. That is such, 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 such time when you are in the technological era. Where will you find the happiness? I've gone through some literature or something. I find there is a formula of happiness. I know if I'm wrong. Mr. Nathan may correct me. Dr. V.P. Singh is there. Happiness formula is H is equal to P plus E plus M. Mr. Nathan mentioned the purpose. So happiness is equal to P is the pleasure. That also gives happiness. When you go for the shopping, we spend some time with our friends. For a short time, we get a pleasure. But that lasts very short at the period. Next thing comes E, engagement, which lasts actually for more time. But ultimately what Mr. Nathan told, that is the M, there's a meaning, that should be a purpose. With that thing, I, I'll, I'll, rec I'll recall the story of three Masons story. I think you, all the people must be knowing. The three Masons, they are working. The first Mason was asked, what are you doing? He told us, I'm doing the, making a wall. 
making just breaking this. Somebody tell that second person told, I'm making a room. The third person told, I'll making a charge. So bigger picture is required. The purpose, meaning, that would ultimately give the happiness. These are things. Now the commonly uh, told stress. Now it is very commonly told the stress. The stress also there is another formula I find. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Pressure will be there in the working field everywhere, in the educational institutions, there will be pressure. But that would not lead to the stress. So how can we do that? The resilience, which is the inner thing, individualistic approach, one has to, that is the adversity question comes into picture. So we have to build our resilience so that that doesn't turn into stress. Same job is given to two employees. One person gets so much stressful. Other person very jovially does their job. The person who does jovial way, he is having much more resilience. So these are the things, how stress is there. Stress should not be there. We have to build, I mean, make up our mind. We, there are so many, I find so many gyms in every small city, small way, even Vijay also they are doing some gyms to keep our body, I mean, fit. But we are neglecting mind. This is much more important thing. Body and minds are connected, interrelated. So please take care of your mind. There is a small program is required, how you can maintain your mind. These other theories are there. Now the leadership quality, quality of leaders. In the Gita, there are 26 traits. Gun, Satagun, Rajagun, Tamagun. Transforming from Tamagun to Rajagun to Satagun, there are 26 traits are there. I was, I was going through, Mr. Gurchan Das lecture, he mentioned for a successful leader, the three important traits are required. First is determinations, not the intelligence. Huh? Second one is attitude, not the aptitude. Third one is integrity. We all know the case of Rajat Gupta, Chanda Kochar. So we have to learn integrity. I'm very happy that the Which one? The oath we took, the place, yeah. The code of conduct place. I think it covers everything. What should be the thing? Is all the management is there, very nicely drafted. Thank you very much. We have made it very so so nice. I was just going to that. Now coming to the key trends, I should touch upon this because this is not the forum to the, these things. Now the young generations, what are the new trends are going in this area? What is going to be? The trends are robotics, IoT, 3D printing, renewables, energy, he talked about. The transformation is going on. Mr. Modi, India has declared by 2070, this country will be net zero country. Then AI, blockchain, digital assets, these are the new terminology today. So we have to be aware. Awareness is the main thing. Coming to the industry, because my list is long, I think time is not permitted. I've already crossed, I think. <laughs> yeah, just I'll take another two, three minutes or something. See, when you work actually in the uh, in the industry, ultimately it comes the HRD, whatever you see, you have to manage the people. At the beginning, you re need more hard skill. You need the engineering, you need to know the knowledge, the subject knowledge, subject domain. But slowly, slowly, when you go up, the hard skills require, very limited way, you require soft skill. That is the main thing I want to mention. Then we generally talk of work-life balance. That's very important. Ultimately, we have, to, we have to be happy. What for? We are working with the purpose. 
So the, the way the trend is moving probably, I believe, it should be in other way, it should be life and work balance, not, not this. Okay. I'll just, ask. I'll, I'll just com complete within one or two uh, minutes. Thank you. Then coming to the creativity and intelligence. This is chapter I want to just focus on this. All our recruitment process, it is based on the IQ. When a person gets in the company, they know search actually expect that he should be very innovative persons. This is something that is different trait. So that, that's a thing. So all the HRD team, I think they should think of all, all these things. And all the success story, the, the three things are required in industry or something. Jantra, Tantra and Mantra we call it. You require right Jantra, instrument, equipment. You require Tantra, right procedure, system and require right Mantra. You require motivation. Motivation means positive motivation. Not like negative motivation which Mantra gave to Kai Kai. Oh, nahi chahiye. Thik hai? These are the things. Again, I will just end my speech taking the help of the, I mean, very famous quote of Jobs Steves in the Stanford University, stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you very much for present here. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us a deeper insights into the intricacies of the industrial world. We feel delighted to have with us the representative from the All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE, Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Bansal. Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Bansal is a serving officer in Corps of Signals, Indian Army, and presently on deputation as a director in AICTE from June 2018. Prior to the present appointment, he had held independent charge of a signal company in Rashtriya Rifles deployed in highly active counter insurgency area of Jammu and Kashmir. He is also a grade one officer for communication operations in headquarters in Delhi for management in Indian Army's backbone communication and IT network. Lieutenant Colonel Kailash has also served in the Eastern Theatre of India where he spearheaded various projects for augmenting the communication infrastructure in underdeveloped areas of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Okay. Sir, sir uh, with that, I'd like to request you, sir, who wanted to speak more. So please, all yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sabne khana khaya hai? So how's the Josh? How's the Josh? How's the Josh? Okay, thank you. Let me set the ball rolling. I've just got about uh, 300 seconds to speak and I'll make every second count for myself. Uh, thank you, sir. Mr. Nathan, Mr. Prem Singh, others on the dais. Uh, and heartiest congratulations to Mr. Neeraj for opening this uh, chapter. And uh, Well, thank you. This is how we begin and this uh, journey should, of course, continue. So, I have only four bullet points to speak. First is, hum sabke paas, information is abundance. Information is available everywhere. My slides I don't intend to show because I can't show. But information is ab in abundance. Or aaj ki date mein, Google, become, Google has become a verb. Google ek verb ban gaya. Have you Googled? It is no more ki aapne dhunda gaya. Have you Googled straight away? So, information is in abundance. Information ki koi kami nahi hai, kami hai intellect ki. We lack intellect to convert that information into some knowledge. So, information versus intellect, yaad rakhega. We also have a little bit, uh, you know, apne aap mein ek daba ke rakhna, creativity ko daba ke rakhna, daba ke rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai. Apne aap, apni creativity ko is compound ke andar, especially students ke liye and equally applicable for faculty members agar aap yahan experiment nahi kar sakte to iocl mein ja ke experiment karenge to dhamake ho jayenge to iocl mein experiment mat kariye experiment here this is the place for you to experiment unleash your creativity 
because the moment you step outside from this campuses the moment you move out people will expect results they will not welcome the experiments so your innovation your creativity versus risk has to be done here in much better form rather than outside mera teesra point tha sir ne baat kari uh, connect ki to connect se lekar ek point tha aajkal hum bahut sari cheeze kar ek sath karna chahte hain we all want to do too many things you know ek sath mere ko you know mobile dekhte hue khana bhi khana hai aur sath mein tv bhi dekhna hai aur agar student ki baat kare to मेरे को फिटनेस भी चाहिए और मेरे को यू नो हंड्रेड परसेंट नंबर भी चाहिए और मुझे यू नो बेस्ट प्लेसमेंट भी चाहिए जेंटलमैन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन सॉरी आई डोंट इंटेंड टू ब्रेक ब्रेक योर ड्रीम लेकिन फोकस आपका होना चाहिए ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट नॉट वन थिंग हैव अ ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट यू शुड बी गुड इन रनिंग यू शुड बी गुड इन स्पीकिंग यू शुड बी गुड इन स्टडिंग यू शुड बी गुड इन मैनेजिंग That is all around development. So, अगर आप खाते वक्त मोबाइल पर बात करके टी वी भी न्यूज को भी इन्जेस्ट कर सकते हैं वेल ब्रिंग इट डाउन टू योर प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ आई एम नॉट हेयर यू नो टू गिव यू ज्ञान की ये डिलीवरी वर्सेज कनेक्ट कैसे होगा बट जस्ट कंसिडर कि क्या आप सिर्फ डिलीवर कर रहे हो या आप कनेक्ट भी कर रहे हो अगर जोमैटो वाला सिर्फ आके डिलीवर करके चल जाता है और आ, आप उससे कनेक्ट नहीं हो पाते हो तो शायद आप उसको वो टिप नहीं दे पाओगे लेकिन अगर वो जोमैटो वाला आपसे कनेक्ट हो जाएगा तो आपके मन से उसके लिए दुआ भी निकलेगी और उसके लिए टिप भी निकलेगा सो डिलीवरी वर्सेस कनेक्ट एंड लास्ट अबाउट थर्टी सेकेंड्स केपेबिलिटी वर्सेज एबिलिटी वेल जेंटमैन एब्सोलूटली सिंपल एग्जाम्पल आपके पास दो हाथ हैं दो पैर हैं एवरी थिंग यू हैव you know how much michael phelps prepared who is michael phelps anyone sir thank you very much michael phelps is a famous swimmer from united states of america he spent almost 7 years just swimming saath saal sirf usne swimming kari so that he can break the world record by 1/10th of a second he broke the world record usne world record ko 1/10th of a second and when people questioned him that was your lucky day they didn't see din banane ke liye raat bhi ek karna padta hai so gentlemen you all have capabilities please deliver connect enhance your knowledge intellect and convert this whatever ability that you have into something substantive उसको एबिलिटी को कैपेबिलिटी की तरफ लेके जाइए तब आपका फायदा है अदरवाइज वी आर ऑल जस्ट डूइंग रोड लर्निंग सो थैंक यू लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन फॉर सो पेशेंटली लिसनिंग टू मी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर योर वर्ड्स ऑफ इंकरेजमेंट सर इज आर्मी मैन दैट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड ही काउंटेड एवरी सेकेंड एंड इट वॉज ऑन टाइम थैंक यू सो मच सर Uh, we indeed are blessed to have blessings and best wishes from the board of directors and other top corporate leaders for our NHRD and Mathura chapter who are connecting through us virtually on Zoom. We, uh, I can request the IT people to please connect. do we have mr israel in barch from tcs okay so we have with us uh, ms ganga priya chakraborty from ford business ms ganga priya chakraborty from ford business Speaker is not on, I guess. Speaker on, Karya.
ओके गंगा प्रिया मैम इज म्यूट आई गेस मैम coordinators to please play the recorded video Welcome to today's very special session. At the outset, outset. Hi everybody. A very 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 warm welcome to today's very special session. At the outset, wishing Mathura chapter a fantastic phase ahead and a hearty hearty congratulations to every member of Mathura and to every member of Prem, Nathan, Shreeram and the entire NHRD team who have made this happen and possible. birth of a new chapter is another exciting phase it's like birth of a baby and i really hope our hr professionals around the mathura region use this opportunity to participate join contribute and draw upon the immense set of resources and experiences and exposures that together constitute our very dear nhrdn forums so do build on do participate and let's widen our impact to the nhrd through the nhrdn network and make sure our fraternity flourishes in every chapter that we go to Thank you so much for inviting me, Prem, to share a moment with everybody. I wish I was there, but simply to say all the very best. Please feel free to draw on any of our resources that you think are relevant to you as you establish the Mathura chapter to its full capability. All the very best, Team Mathura. Greetings from National HRD Network, Amdavad chapter. Please to know that one more chapter is added in NHRD and Amrela. Warm wishes and hearty congratulations to Mathura chapter and its new team, especially to Shri Neeraj Agarwal ji, President, Professor Anurag Singh, Vice President, and Professor Somesh Tanija, Secretary. Best of luck to all of you and your team members who have a great start and work towards fulfilling the objectives of National HR Network. I'm sure under the leadership of Prem Singh ji, Regional President North, and National President S. V. Nathanji, this chapter will flourish and contribute towards creating awareness and upliftment of fraternity and having conversations around important topics of HR and people agenda, which is at times we find missing in parts of the country. Once again, thank you for giving this opportunity to wish uh, Mathura chapter, and on behalf of my uh, committee members, executive committee members, our Vice President Rashna Mehra ji, our Secretary Nawal Gajjal ji, and our Treasurer Dr. Shital Bhaksha, I once again wish a best of luck to the new chapter and success in your all your endeavors. Thank you very much. Hi friends, uh, it's a pleasure to be here today on the occasion of the inauguration of the NHRD chapter in Mathura. Uh, it's a fabulous initiative. Uh, thank you to Prem and everybody else who worked together to make this happen. Uh, and this is, I think, a phenomenal thing because you can now learn a lot more, share a lot more, and grow with, as part of the larger HR community across India. So, uh, you know, wish you all the best, uh, and I hope to I hope to see you sometime. And I'm sure this chapter will continue to grow in strength 
and and create a lot of value to everybody, every of its members. Thank you very much, and all the best. Hi, uh, very happy to see that uh, the newest chapter of HRD Network at Mathura has been launched. Uh, wishing it many many years and decades of success. Um, congratulations to the office bearers as well as the chapter. I think very heartening to see that uh, the movement for HR is uh, you know shaping up, particularly in in smaller places outside the metros. So again, congratulations, all the best, and have a great journey ahead. A very good morning to Mr. Nathan, Mr. Prem Singh, Dhananjay ji, Neela Jagarwal ji, and all distinguished dignitaries present today, both physically at Mathura and digitally across the country. On behalf of Lucknow chapter and my own behalf, we congratulate the Mathura team of NHRD for this grand opening of the chapter. Please accept our best wishes. Going ahead. We will be eager to collaborate and extend any support that may be required. Once again, wishing all the very best to Mr. Neeraj and the team of Mathura chapter. Thank you. I am glad to know that Mathura city, the holy city of the nation, is being added in the family of the NHRD at the national level. At the outset, I wish the chapter all the best for its future advancement. NHRD at the headquarter is a very rich resource center. It should be able to provide all the requisite support and guidance to Mathura chapter. Once again, I wish all the best to Mathura chapter to become a leading chapter among the young chapters. Once again, I wish all the best and thank you. <clears throat> I am delighted to know that NHRD is inaugurating a new chapter on 9th April this year. Uh, I really commend the efforts and initiative of Mr. S. P. Nathan, National President of NHRDN, and Mr. Prem Singh, Regional President of NHRDN North, for taking this initiative. This is indeed a, really a milestone, and it's a need of the hour that NHRDN should spread to two-tier and three-tier cities. I am certain the President and the office bearers of NHRDN of Mathura Chapter will take this uh, will take this advantage and try to create and promote networking among industry leaders, HR fraternity, and, and academia and students. I wish them all the best in their endeavors. I am happy to provide my help and assistance as and when required. Thank you. I am extremely delighted to know the Mathura chapter being started of NHRDN, which is absolutely, absolutely great news. And I wish them all the best for a great start. And I'm sure Mathura chapter is going to do wonders. So my congratulations to the entire team, NHRDN Northern Region chapter, and especially Mr. Prem Singh for leading this from the front. All the best. Enjoy. I'm delighted to know the launching of Mathura chapter of National HRD Network at GLA campus. Mathura is known as the birthplace of Lord Krishna, who has spread great wisdom on humility and management. Now Mathra has large number of industries, SMEs, management institutions and public sectors. And I am sure the launching of the chapter will help in a great way in spreading the professionalization, learning and sharing the best practice at national and international level, encourage the party members to participate in various competitions of NHRD network and get a lot of awards, and more important, a great opportunity for the members to network and learn from each other. National HRD Network has a great legacy which has been created by its founders through their selfless service, dedication by the past presidents, office bearers and commitment of large number of members spread throughout the country. With the spread of professionalization in the region and launching of this chapter, I am sure Mathra will be one day a great contender of the best chapter award. I thank Mr. Prem Singh, Mr. Nathan, the president, national president for supporting this cause of opening Mathra chapter and wish all members my best wishes. I am Major General Anand Saxena. GLA University has emerged as one of the topmost destinations for students of not only UP but the entire country. Keeping up with the traditions of innovations that has been the hallmark of this wonderful institution the opening of the National Human Resource Development Network, the Mathura chapter, is one more wonderful feather in the cap for GLA University. I wish the GLA University, all the functionaries and all the distinguished guests who have taken time out to attend the opening chapter today, all the very best from my side. 
though I have not been able to attend it in person, but I know the event would be a grand success and will set the stage towards networking in the human resource development field for the youth of this part of the country. Jai Hind and good luck. Hi, uh, I am Bharatarajan Raja, uh, past National Secretary and the past Regional President North of National HR Network. I am very pleased to hear about the inauguration of the Mathura chapter of NHRDN. It is really wonderful to have one more chapter join the elite group of NHRDN and I am very pleased to welcome all of you to the NHRDN family. All the very best and enjoy the power of networking and experience sharing which is the hallmark of NHRDN. All the best. Good morning everyone. Very happy to know that NHRDN has started the Mathura chapter. Uh, very gratifying to see that the NHRDN is uh, spreading its footprint across the country. There could not have been a better time to do this because in the last two years of the pandemic, uh, the, H the HR function has really come to the forefront. Uh, we were trying looking after the health and wellness of our teams, our employees, their families, and also looking after the health and wellness of the business. So, uh, managing interests of both people and business was a real challenge, and I think the HR function has really uh, come to the forefront on this. And hopefully now that the pandemic is behind us and we can look forward to a, a better world, a better society and a better business environment. Uh, I think it's a wonderful time to uh, get in more footprint of the NHR team. Though I have not been able to participate there personally. But my congratulations and all the best to the new chapter and all the people who have been behind it. Wonderful job done. All the best and look forward to uh, see NHRD and grow strength to strength going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, blessings are always special and they give us motivation to move ahead. Uh, so we are now connected to the Zoom to our online virtual guests. We have with us Ms. Ganga Priya Chakrabarti from Ford Business. Welcome ma'am to the NHRDN inaugural function at Mathura. Uh, I would request Ganga Priya ma'am to please unmute herself. Okay, so blessings and words of encouragement has already been received. So with humble submission, I would now like to call upon Mr. Dhananjay Singh, Director General, NHRDN, for his valedictory address. Thank you, ma'am. Ma 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 Am I audible? Thank you. So... How many of you remember how many steps you have taken in your life? Anybody, any guesses? Lakhs, crores? Today, if you will connect with your elders in your family, they will exactly tell you when you took the first step. They'll remember the month, they'll remember the year, they'll remember the time of the day or night, when for the first time they saw you walking on your own feet. So friends, today is a very, on a very auspicious day. We are here in Mathura taking the very first step of create, creation of this chapter. Many congratulations and compliments to Leeraji and team for leading this with the blessings of the national board led by respected S.V. Nathan sir, Regional President Prem Singh ji and I don't have words to thank each one of you for your presence here. V.P. Singh ji, thank you for guiding and being the guiding light for this. I can see Yuvraj ji, Rajan ji, Dr. Yogesh, Toshi, Agni, Anil ji here and they all are here to share their insights, their wisdom, and to bless this chapter, not only to impart their learnings in life, which must have come through very hard ways, but also to talk about what we can learn from you, from each one of you who are there on the dais, 
who were there in front of us. Mm. And as Nathanji said, you all are a future and more capability in you means a secure and better future for each one of us. Mm. So on behalf of National HRD Network, we would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to everyone who were there on the dais and in front of us. Thank you very much for being part of this inauguration of NHRD and Mathura chapter. Thank you very much. Ashish ji, aapka hona yaha bohat zyada dil kuch hone wali baat hai. Indian Oil Corporation is something which touches each one of us. 1962 war has a big impact on our minds and then we realized we can't do without Indian oil. And Mathura refinery is one of the best, not only for our country and the region, for, but for the whole world. And what best when we are talking about Industry Academy interface, we have with us Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Bansil from AICT, Director AICT with us. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here and making us ensure that the industry and academia, once they will come together, that is the only right way to move ahead in life. And I know organizing this looks like a very simple function, but how many people, how many colleagues of ours in GLA and NHRDN must have spent their midnight oils to ensure we are here together in this form. So all the students, all the faculty colleagues of GLA, grateful thanks to each one of you for making sure this event becomes a reality. So let's hear a big round of applause for all the students and faculty members and departments of GLA. Our colleagues from National HRD Network, I can see Nalin and Avinash, thank you very much. And all the blessings for showering of blessings from our current and the previous board whom you just heard right now. With this, thank you very much once again, keep blessing and as all the inaugural speakers have said that the reality, the crux of the relationship remains in the sustain sustainability of it. Thank you very much and best wishes. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir, for your validatory address. We have reached towards the end of the inaugural ceremony. We, from Mathura chapter, would like to present a token of remembrance from our side. I would request the President Mathura Chapter, Mr. Neera Chakraval, sir, to present a token of remembrance to the National President and HRDN, Mr. S. V. Nathan, sir. I would again request Neerat sir to please present a mentor to the regional president and HRTN, Mr. Prem Singh sir. I would humbly request the Pro Vice Chancellor, GLA University, Professor Anup Gupta, sir, to please present a token of remembrance from our side to uh, Mr. Ashish Mehti, sir. I would humbly request Professor Anurag Singh, sec, uh, Vice President, NHRD and Mathura, and Director IBM, to present a token of remembrance to Lieutenant Colonel Kailash Singh, sir. Sir, I would request you again, Mr. Anurag Singh, sir, to please present a token of remembrance to Mr. Dhananjay Singh, sir, Director General NHRDN.
Thank you, sir. I would now request the dignitaries in the dais for a group photograph. Yes, sir, that would be covering the banner also. Yes, this side. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I extend a warm thanks to all the dignitaries present here for sparing their valuable time and would request the guests to please proceed for a tea break. I would request the student escorts to please facilitate the process. We will have a panel discussion. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, just a minute. We'll, all the guests would like to have a group photograph of all dignitaries. I would request all the guests who are with us uh, from the industry to please have a group photograph with all the dignitaries here. I would request all the guests who have spared their valuable time with us to please come up and have a group photograph. I, um, I just want to take a moment to say a big thank you to all the panelists, CHROs who have traveled all the way from Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida, uh, from uh, all these areas for your time really uh, appreciate grateful to all of you this is after 15 years that a new chapter is coming so you are joining in this today is a big contribution thank you I would request few guests, dignitaries, if you could come on the stage so that we could have a photograph. Ashish, sir, please.
I would request the student escorts to please facilitate the process of taking our guests for the tea break. The students are requested to be seated here in the hall. We will resume the uh, panel discussion session in the same venue at 12.30.